Hi, it's Chris with The Real Estate Tomato. Um, one of the most popular questions I get from clients is how to embed Google Maps. Google Maps is a great way to make your site a little bit more 2.0, um, create more interaction between um, the client and the website. Gives a little bit more information to them. You know, if you're talking about a listing, you can map that location, or if you're talking about just a group of businesses, you can map you know, all the restaurants in your city and add that to a post or a page. And it provides more information to the client and, and lets them interact a little bit more with your website. So to add a Google Map, uh, first you're going to want to go to Google Maps. So maps.google.com. And I'm going to go, I'm going to make a map uh, for the location of my office. So I'm just going to do a search here for or 7290 Navajo Road. And you see that comes right up on Google Maps. Uh, by the way, we get a lot of questions as well of how to make your own maps from scratch. You'll see a link over here in the top left that says My Maps. And you can click that and just uh, create a new map. And it's very easy. They'll give you the icons and you just put the icons wherever you want it. And you can even put your own information into these fields here. Once you have your map created or you found your location, you want to go up here in the top right corner and click link. It's going to give you two options. The first one is to paste the link in an email or IM. And the second one is to paste HTML to embed in a website. We're going to go ahead and use the second option. So go ahead and highlight that and copy. And now we really don't want to use this entire code. Um, to embed it into a post or a page. And the reason for this is because you're using a multi-user WordPress platform. And WordPress, for security reasons, can't just accept any embed code uh, because individuals can actually come to your site and hack through. Um, it's kind of a weakness, in a way, to a site. And they can hack through your site um, through that embed area. So we're going to copy this embed code, but the next, go ahead and open up Notepad, or Microsoft Word, whatever program uh, that you like to use. I always suggest using note, Notepad. And go ahead and paste that embed code directly into Notepad. And all we want is the source URL within this code. So the code always starts off with iframe, and then it'll have the width, the height, uh, something about a frame border, scrolling options, margin height, margin width. And then eventually you'll get to an area that says source or src equals. And then after source equals, in quotes, you will find the URL that we're looking for. So we're going to want to copy this URL and exclude the quotes. So we don't want to copy the quotes. So everything inside the quotes, go ahead and highlight. Just kind of follow it down until you get to the end of the quotes. And it might be a little difficult at first to do this, but eventually you'll get the hang of it. It usually goes down about four lines. Um, it's a pretty long URL. Uh, you'll notice here I have the end quote, and then after that you'll see a forward slash iframe again. So copy this quote, or copy this URL, excuse me. And again, make sure you're not copying the quotes, just the URL. And then once you have that copied, go into the back end of your website, and you have this icon here that says easily embed a Google map. Just click that icon, paste the URL you just copied, and click OK. In the back end of the post, you're going to see a code here that says Google Maps. Next, it'll have this URL. And then in brackets, it'll have the closing Google Maps. Just go ahead and click Update Post. Then you can go ahead and click preview. And on the front end of your website, you'll see a map with the location um, labeled uh, that you had in mind. Uh, if anybody wants to zoom in or zoom out or move that map around within your blog post, they can just click on it, drag it around, they can zoom in, um, they have a little bit more control. Uh, it makes your site a little bit more interactive. I believe I can even, uh, yeah, you can scroll on really small right there. 
So there's where my office is located. If anybody has any questions about embedding a Google map into a post or a page, just email molly at realestatetomato.com.